good afternoon, good evening, depending, of course, on when and where you are watching today's live sale. Uh, regardless, I certainly want to thank you for actually being here in the live chat. I certainly appreciate that. And to anybody out there watching the replay, that is certainly appreciated. As always, well, not as always, but I do try to start the live sales a little bit early just so that way we can take the time to say hello to everybody that is here joining us in the live chat. You know what I got to say? Once upon a time, YouTube used to actually, in the live sales with the replays, you used to be able to see the chat. Um, and maybe it's just me and I can't figure it out anymore, but I don't see the chats being replayed. Perhaps that was just too much information for YouTube to hold on to, but I'm kind of disappointed in that because I always enjoyed it because sometimes when there was a conversation occurring, it was nice to see the back and forth because then I'm just this talking head. Um, so that's sad. So if YouTube, you're out there listening, I would love to be able to see the chat replay. I I enjoyed it. Maybe it was just me and they were like, people don't care. Um, <clears throat> cast your vote down below in the comments. <laughs> so thank you again for being here. Um, it's a rainy day here in central Pennsylvania. That's okay. Uh, I know it's kind of cloudy and raining over in Ohio uh, and in a couple of states. So at least we're inside and warm and cozy with one another. So without further ado, let's dive into it and let's give some shout outs to some of you out there. The first person that I can highlight is, as usual, Ms. Lisa Lady, how are you doing today? Um, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you for being the first comment and hopefully you've made it back. Hello, Ms. Karen, how are you doing today? Appreciate you being here. Ms. Stephanie Lady, how are you? Thank you again, Stephanie. It is greatly appreciated. <laughs> Don't worry, the caffeine isn't affecting me too much today. So we're, we should be good. We should be good. Oh, uh, hey, Ruth the B lady. How are you doing today? Thank you as always for being here. We got Miss Beth C is up in the chat. How are you doing there? Miss Beth doing her thang over on BAMP, of course. Bug is with us. How are you doing today, Bug? Cheryl, it's a cold, rainy day over there in the UK. It's pretty, pretty typical though for you guys year round, isn't it though? My goodness. Thank you for being here. Always appreciate you, lady. Hey, Kim. I'm sorry I couldn't be in your ear last night, but you know what? Perseverance, and it always gets easier. So congratulations, Kim, for another successful live sale. Kim, another uh, vamp seller. Go check them out. There's a special video that I've got coming out for you guys. I think it's What is today? When? I think it might be, I don't know if it's this week or next week that the video will be coming out, but do stay tuned for that one. Hey, Ms. Karen, how are you doing today? Thank you for joining us. Cold and windy up there in Canada, perhaps. Ms. Donna RN, as always, lady, thank you for your service, trying to at least keep us happy, healthy, and Oh, Miss jo jo blah, blah, blah. Joda, how are you doing today, Joda? Good to see you, lady. Sandra, always a pleasure. How are you doing? Miss Karen is still chasing a vintage, of course. Guess what? Another vamp seller over there. Esther, how are you today? Good to see you, Shireen. Good afternoon. How are you this afternoon? Miss Gloria Boyd, how are you today? Miss Barbara. How are you doing? Thank you for being here. Mitten high five, Miss Linda. A pleasure to see you as always. It's raining. It's raining for Esther too. But Linda says it's not raining in Michigan. Well, I guess you're one of the few lucky ones. Joan, how's it doing over there weather-wise? Cold, rainy, windy, maybe. <laughs> Howdy neighbor, always a pleasure to see you. Hey Purdy, how are you doing lady? Hopefully you are staying warm and dry today. Uh, we got Jill. Hello. Oh, I was like, excuse me? <laughs> I was like, should I have just highlighted that comment? Jill, it is good to see it. Say hello to Big Ginge for me. Uh, I got to meet Jill 
at the Springfield flea market. That concerned me a little bit. <laughs> you see my, I was like, what did I just do? Brenda, how are you today? Thanks for being here. Ruthie says it's cold. Girl, I don't doubt it. Jody said freezing. Ooh, and Fargo, girl. Woof. Oh, well, Joan's just going to rub it in. Warm and sunny in uh, New York. That's all right. Purdy's got spotty rain. Dreary, rainy in Florida. My goodness, it's really raining across much of the country, apparently, today. Uh, so thank you guys for being here. I think I caught up to the chat. I apologize if I skipped over um, highlighting you, but I certainly do appreciate you. If it is your first time here, or it has been a while, welcome to and welcome back. Uh, especially for those of you that it is your first time, put it in the chat, let us know. There are some great folks over there. We're all here for the love, uh, the shared love and passion of vintage and antiques. So great people, they're gonna make you feel right at home. Don't be shy. But if you wanna remain anonymous, thanks for being here. Alrighty, you guys, we've got a sale for you today. While it is cold, rainy, and dreary, we're we're gonna put out the spring vibes. Uh, we've got some lighter colors. If you saw the preview images, whether on Instagram or here on YouTube. Hey Pat, how are you doing today, lady? Um, so we're gonna put those spring vibes out there, right? Hey Colleen, how are you? Um, we're gonna put those spring vibes out there and we're gonna do it with today's sale, gosh darn it, one way or the other. Now we do of course have our offer ups. I do have a number of quick claims. There are some items that I'm just, I need the space. So we're gonna do claims on those items. Of course, I will announce which ones are which. They're gonna be kind of rotationally throughout the sale. Um, as always with the offer ups, we are gonna do our 20 second countdown thanks to the, the ever increasing YouTube lag. It is what it is and we'll just try to work with it. Um, with the just in cases, um, while you don't have to, there's no obligation, there's no commitment. Hey, Chloe, hello, Melinda. Hey, Kim, how are you doing today? Um, there's no commitment or obligation to using a just in case. If you would like to use one, please feel free. If you do not want to use one, you do not have to. Just know, of course, that I am going to be honoring them. As always, the two things that I do ask with the just in case. Uh, hey, Joe, how are you doing? The two things that I ask with the just in case will remain the same, that you've been an active bidder up until that point. And of course, hold on to that just in case until you hear the countdown, okay? Just trying to make it as fair as possible for everybody. Now, if it is your first purchase from me or it has been a while uh, since you've purchased from me, please make sure to send me out your contact information. It is simply the cults of vintage at yahoo.com. Did I pin it at the top of the chat? Yeah, I did. Uh, so you're going to see it here in the banner throughout the sale. It is the pinned comment. It's the blue rectangle that you see at the top of the chat. And of course, it is in the description of the video. The information that you're going to want to include is your real name, if it's different than your YouTube username, your full shipping address, including your zip code. That way, I need you to calculate a discounted shipping. And last, but definitely not least, is the email address that you use for PayPal. And if you don't have PayPal, you can still make a purchase. Just indicate with that contact information that you would like a guest link. I will send you a link that's gonna let you check out on PayPal um, as a guest. I forgot things. Um, I'm kind of going out of order, clearly. We're keeping it exciting and dynamic. Hey, Ms. Gutierrez, how are you? Um, with our countdowns for our offer ups, we do have an official bid ender. Y'all know her, y'all love her, or sometimes you just get so, oh, because she's so quick on the draw. It is the one, the only. It is Miss Ruthie B, who is our official bid ender. She, look, that's how quick she is, okay? Barely got the words out, and she's right there. Look, she got fast internet. She's got fast fingers. That is why Ruthie B kills it. A round of applause, round of applause for Miss Ruthie B for yet again taking time out of her day to help me here on the sale. While we have our clapping hands out, please make sure to give a round of applause for Miss Kim and Miss Karen Gillette, who are here helping mod the sale, putting in links, reiterating the information. Uh, ladies, again, individually, you all do a fantastic job. And collectively, you guys are a killer team. And I really do appreciate all of the time that you put into helping me out here on the channel. So 
thank you so much. Miss Diane, lady, I'll see you soon. What? Um, I think that we've covered it all of the information. If I'm, I think we did. Shereen's got those popping hands out. Did we? Contact information, just in case. Official bid enders are wonderful mods in the sale. I am going to be doing all of your packing and invoicing this evening. So do be on the lookout um, for those invoices. So let's get right into it. Let me take a quick sip of coffee. The three musketeers, right? The three cult tears. <laughs> So yesterday's sale on Tuesday with Misty, I had a couple of items that didn't sell. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do it as a, another shot here. And rather than doing them as offer ups, I've decided to go ahead and turn those into some quick claims. Makes sense? We'll see if anybody wants to do it that way. How about that? So we're gonna start with three quick claims. We're gonna, into, gonna get into some offer ups and then throw in a couple more qu quick claims because. Michael's got to get space. Yo, Michael's got to get space. He's got to get space. Let's do it. First up, we're going to bring back the Fenton Milk Glass Rose Bowl. It is classic Fenton Milk Glass. It does, of course, have the hobnail. This is the medium size uh, Rose Bowl. You're coming in at five inches in height and a diameter on that one from ruffle to ruffle. The exact is six and one eighth. Six and one eighth. So Jody, all for ops are going to be, if you will, I'm going to show an item and I'll say it's going to start at this. So if anybody wants to put in an offer for it, they can put in an offer for it. <laughs> <laughs> We're using a very specific vernacular, okay? Um, so there are no chips, there are no cracks on the milk glass. It is unstamped Fenton. I have some sticker residue. Um, should anybody want that, that, of course, will uh, be washed off for you before prior to Sunday. So uh, no chips, no cracks, uh, five inches, six and one eighth diameter. We're going to do a quick claim on it. So it'll be $15, $15. If anybody is interested, is all you have to do is put in the number 12, the number 12, and you'll get the Fenton Milk Glass Hobnail Rose Bowl. A few more words, please. Um, no chips, no cracks, and it'll be $15, number 12, number two. Okay. Well, Miss Melinda, you were quick on the draw, sister friend. You got it, Joan. Thank you so much. Miss Melinda, the girl is coming to you. Thank you, lady. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. People go and watch this thing. They'll be like, what is he doing? I'm just responding to the chat, y'all. Mm -hmm. All righty. Let's do another quick claim. Set that over there. I am, listen, you know, I'm shocked. Sometimes you get things. Okay, we got receipts falling out. Come on. Watch out, Michael keeps those receipts. Um, I was a little surprised on these ones. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, I have got, it is the set, it is the Rio Hunt, now clearly these are great for your Easter decor, but they're bunnies, so you can leave them out year round. So we do have some Rio Hondo pottery. These are much larger than the, the ones that I have at least found in the past, typically about half the size um, salt and pepper shakers, and of course they do make figurines. These are salt and pepper shakers. You can see the, the holes there on the front of their head. One has a cork stopper the other does not okay there are no chips there are no cracks there is crazing so it is technically a condition issue when you can live with or without up to you um it's not super heavy it does add a little character to them you can see more so the one here with the lashes closed you can see that crazing going across um as i said it's classic rio hondo painting very simple right very chunky kind of soft sculpt, a little abstract. Um, these guys are coming in at five and one fourth inches tall. Five and one fourth inches tall, then lashes. Mm. Five and one fourth inches tall, 
a quick claim, you are going to, of course, get both. It would be $20 for both, okay? $20 for both. If you would be interested in those, is all you have to do is put in the number 17, the number 17, and you will get the real Hondo Pottery, Bunny Salt and Pepper Shakers, uh, most likely from the 30s, okay? So they're nearing antique age. Glory girl, I'll sell you everything today, sister. I'm going to be throwing free shipping for you. The sale is over. <laughs> Glory girl, I gotcha. Congratulations, lady. Thank you so much. The Rio Hondo bunnies, they are coming to you. Oh, girl, do you want to pay? I'll pay. Also, we can do that. Do you want to do it? <laughs> Glowy, did you win that lottery? Is that what you're telling me without telling me? <laughs> listen. Now, I wasn't going to listen. Girl, you and me both. This channel would change like nobody's business. If I had won the lottery, let me tell you what, and I would still be on YouTube. I would. That $825 million, however much it was, I don't even really know. Which was like, go get a ticket. And I was like, oh, I don't want to get a ticket. And then I did get a ticket. I got seven. I did. <laughs> and, you know, uh, clearly neither one of us won. But um, you were talking and it was after 11 and he was like did you win and i was like i didn't even check my numbers so he had the numbers pulled up and he's reading me the numbers and i had the first number and then i had the second number and my heart started to flutter and then he gave the third number and i was like <laughs> we didn't win <laughs> the lotto was up to a billion yeah I got seven, and the first number I matched with was seven. The second number was 11. Yeah. Well, Chloe, I appreciate that. Like, I have asked, okay, I'm not going to, let's just. <laughs> I have aspirations. Like, I would like high impact people's lives. Do you know what I mean? Like, you could really change so many people's lives with that amount of money like that is insane and i just you know i think one of the big things and and i know a lot of us do that it, it's always like the struggle of it all do you know what i mean and to have that mental burden lifted creates a greater emotional space and a lot of times i think with human beings is that we can't really elevate ourselves because we have our mental and emotional blocks. And a lot of that does come down to, especially very inflated um, economy. Like, uh, so yes, bugs, tiny houses, like, oh my gosh, food and education programs, like stop. And I mean money in people's pockets. I mean money in people's pockets, right? Mm. All right, let's do another quick claim. Let's do another quick claim. This guy, he is unmarked, okay? It's a bank, clearly, and he does have his little stopper, all righty? He does have his little stopper. If I can get it back in. Listen, frog, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, it's secure if you do use him as his intended purpose. It is a bank. Now, it's not stamped Italy or Portugal, which very much is what it reads. To me but it is this super stylized frog he's ceramic there are no chips there are no cracks to him i do want to point out something though here on the front on the mouth there is some excess green paint that paint is underneath the glaze so there is not going to be any removing of that so that is something to keep in mind okay but i think he's super charming he's coming in at six and a half inches to the top of his little eyeballs there He's a chunky guy. He's got a good weight on him, but he's not huge. You know, he's almost human head size. So no chips, no cracks, six and a half inches tall. He is not marked Italy or Portugal, but again, that's kind of the vibe that I get from him. Very folk art like. He's going to be a quick claim. He'll be $15, $15 if anybody is interested. 
is all you have to do is put in number 35, number 35, and I'm calling him the folk art frog. Uh, clearly it's been hand painted with a very watered down glaze to create those brush strokes, which I am a huge fan of that. Um, I think it really softens um, the hard surface of the ceramics. I just really like him, right? Oh my gosh, a bug right there, that would be cute, but not our bug, right? Like a plastic bug. So what number did I say? He was 15. I totally forget what number, but I'm not seeing anybody put in a number. Did I give it a number? I don't know now. Maybe the caffeine is working. <laughs> I put in number 35. Okay. So if anybody is interested, it would be number 35. Cheryl, are you reminding me or are you putting girls? No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, okay. Okay. So it was number 35. Diane, girl, is the caffeine working on you? Were you thinking it was 32? Are you trying to claim them? Let me know in the comments, Diane, and I will keep my eye on, on that one. All right. Let's just put him over there. He's in safekeeping for whatever may happen or may not. Deb's finds, girl, I messed up. I replied to your email. Girl, disregard that email because I went back in the paperwork. So I messed up. So that's all my bad, girl. I got you confused. I got you confused. All right. Well, hello, Mary B. How are you doing today? I appreciate you being here. I was confused too. I was confused too. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go and let's move on to. Okay. Right on, Miss Diane. So, Diane is not. Okay. 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 So, let's do our first offer up. <clears throat> We're going to start it off at 20. That's my fault, though, because I, I, yeah, that, that is also my fault, Deb. So, I'm, I apologize as well. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start our first item off. <clears throat> Esther, no, I didn't win the lottery. I'd be giving this stuff away for free today. <laughs> It'd all be quick claims. <laughs> I'd be like, this is going to be number 20. Just put in number 20. You will get it for free. Like, it's legit. <clears throat> I got another one. And this is a piece that I probably, if I continue to find good deals on it, I will pick this piece up. Because when I say it, it is probably my most favorite Westmoreland sculpt, at least to date. Perhaps there's another sculpt out there that I'm not currently aware of that I might favor more. But this Westmoreland Agronaut is my most favorite piece that they produced. They did it in a variety of different colors, from um, solid colors. They did the French blues. They have satin glasses. They have slide glasses. My top two favorites are the milk glass and the green white slag. Um, I think that it just works really well with the sculptural detailing. It is clearly a seaside ocean theme. You do have the three porpoises for the feet rotating around the bottom here. There are no chips, there are no cracks. Look at the swag going around the base. It's all kinds of small shells. Even around the perimeter, you've got little clamshell detailing on that. Here's an up close and personal of your porpoise feet. Of course, it is in the ancient uh, Greek interpretation of the porpoise. Thank you, Melinda. I gotcha. Um, the lid. The lid even has the small shells running around it. We have a conch shell for the finial. I love it. They do have like a little detailing here kind of giving us a little bit of an Art Deco vibe to it. Um, that's kind of obstructed with regards to um, kind of leaning more Art Deco because of the seashells, pardon me, the seashells on it. You can see it creates a very odd shape on the top, almost kind of reminiscent of a clover, if you will. I love the milk glass. I love the sculptural detailing. It is not overdone, yet it's got a lot of high impact. So. Whether this would live in, you know, a living 
part of the home or in a bathroom, a vanity or a closet. Look at that, even on the bottom, even on the bottom. This is coming in from base to the top of the finial at six and a half inches, six and a half inch height on that. And then you do have a diameter on the candy dish. Thank you, Miss Robin. Thank you, Miss Joan. You do have a diameter on the candy dish at five and seven eighth inches, five and seven eighth diameter. And again, from base to top of finial, you're coming in at a solid six and a half inches. Said it yesterday, I'll say it again today. Is that the milk glass? Mark my words, you're going to be seeing more and more milk glass in home decor. High impact, a lot of different sculpts, a lot of different companies, antique to vintage, um, mix them up. And it is such an amazing look without it being a very cluttered kind of vibe. Milk glass, I'm telling you, milk glass is going to be the new ironstone. You know the ironstone collections, you know the vibe that it gets. The milk glass is going to provide you a little bit more visual detail without being like super in your face because of all the different colors. So get it. All right, Ms. Uh, Joan is coming in, Miss Melinda. Ladies, thank you all for your bids. Westmoreland, no chips, no cracks. It is the Milk Glass Agronaut. Let's go ahead and do the countdown. So here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and a bid end. Ooh. I mean, classic 80s home decor were, the, were, you know, it was a lot of more like the cornucopias, the baskets, very simple, traditional, like the candy jars, right? Oceanside bid end. Thank you, Miss Ruthie B. I do appreciate you. I'm gonna go ahead and set this one down first. <laughs> All right, we had some just in cases coming in there before the bid ends. Miss Joan, I got you. Miss Melinda, appreciate you, ladies, really do. But Miss Robin Watson had the highest just in case. So, Robin, lady, congratulations and thank you. At 36, it's coming to you. All right, we get you written there. <laughs> Y'all. Okay, I can feel it happening, and this is kind of gross, so I'm not going to get into a lot of detail, but I do have to let you know. <clears throat> like, I take allergy medication, okay, um, and I take two kinds because it's like that, but I skipped my, t I, okay, I took the important one for my respiratory. But I didn't take the Certazine. The Certazine is like Zyrtec. So I did take one today. So now everything is like draining out, out of me. So if you hear me sniffling and like, I apologize, but it was needed. <laughs> oh, I'm paying the consequence of it. All right. We're going to try this. Um, we're going to try it. We're going to see what you guys think of this next set. You're going to get both. And they are in excellent condition. Both glass, I know. <clears throat> well, it was because like you take I take one for traditional allergies and I take another one for respiratory allergies. And the respiratory allergy is the one that I have to make sure that I take. The other one helps and it does help make the respiratory one work better. Um, but I listen, I was being lazy and I didn't feel like going to the drugstore, truth be told. Um, but I finally did that today because I was close to running out of the important one, but and it's a working, it's a working. <laughs> and drinking this coffee is kind of making everything else a little bit more extra. Let's do it. I'm gonna sell the boat. If of course anybody is interested, okay. We're gonna start it off at the $40 mark. But again, you do get two pieces with this. Again, no, I'm just wearing plain Jane hoodie today. I'm just wearing plain Jane hoodie. Listen, I'm telling you, anytime anybody gets the hoodie from Richard, they love it. it the quality on that hoodie is like insane. It is so soft. The shots, 
you go for the shots, Becca, it scares me. Because <clears throat> they're like anaphylaxis. <laughs> I'm like, you got to stay in the office and you have to keep doing it. We can't guarantee that it's going to work. <clears throat> Um, oh, sure. So if you guys want to order um, a Sido in t-shirt or a uh, sweatshirt, how is this going to be the easiest way? Yeah, Kim has one. Do this. Um, send me an email. Send me an email and put in the subject matter Sido in hoodie. And that way I can write. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Becca. And just do, okay. So we'll, we'll handle it like that. If you want a hoodie, put in the size. Um, I they're, they're like a standard fit. They're not like the vintage fit where they're like tapered. So if you would typically prefer like a large, you can order a large. I like my stuff a little bit oversized. So I got an extra large. No, I do have a large. I might have to get another one in extra large, but they're really nice. Okay, let's do it. Two pieces. Now, these are what I'm going to refer to as bohemian glass. It is peach blow, okay? But you do get both. They are the ewers or decanters. I'm, they're more ewers than anything else. Um, they do have the enameling on there. Y'all, the enameling is in such good condition on both of these. And we'll do a close-up here. They are hand-blown. So you can see the rougher Poncel mark on the bottom of both of those, okay? Pretty indicative of the time period. I quite frankly feel because of the enameling, these are leaning a little bit closer to Czechoslovakia. I can't say that with certainty, but given um, the colors and the pattern that they chose, I'm leaning more Czechoslovakia. So you are getting both. They are both in a satin glass. I'm gonna put one down. We'll check out the other. Now the enameling matches, look at that. You can see in this some brush strokes perhaps, um, it is not worn. It is not chipped off. Get it glowy. Um, I love the netting behind it. Like I said, it's the colors and the subject, um, the netting behind it, the crest here in the center um, that is giving me more of a Czechoslovakian vibe than I, I'm feeling Czechoslovakia, but they're not signed or anything like that. Again, it's all an opinion. We do have a clear satin glass applied handle. Again, in a peach blow, so we do have the silver crest and the satin effect. Um, and if I didn't mention, let me reiterate, there are no chips or cracks on either. The enameling is excellent on both of these. Um, it's not this one. Let me show you the other one. So here is our second. Clearly, the subject matter is identical or is as identical as hand painting can be. It's the same subject matter. They are reversed. One handle is facing to the right, at least my right. The other, the first one we just saw is facing to the left. Um, so you can have these facing one another and the pattern is shown and the handles are opposed to one another. Okay. You could buy rights if you wanted to turn them around. <clears throat> wow. Um, <clears throat> you could turn them around so that you don't see the enameling and that's totally cool. Up to you as to what you would choose to do. Okay, um, this this one. So this one you do see because it's it is a cased glass. This is not a chip. It is not a crack. It is simply where the glass did not fuse, and it is allowing that peach glass to kind of pink. Why is it peach blow? It's pink. Um, but they're allowing that pink to kind of peek through. But it is not a chip, it is not a crack, but I do want to draw your attention to that. When I first saw them, I was like, oh, it's crack. It's not. It's just, it's, again, they were like, good enough, good enough. I think they're beautiful. All right, we got Miss Glowy in at 40. Lady, I appreciate you. They both come in <clears throat> at nine inches tall, um, and that is over here to the spout, if you will. Nine inches tall, it is for your set. Let's go ahead, they don't glow, I did UV test them. Let's go ahead and do the countdown. They're very feminine, but great for spring. Let's do it. So 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one, and a bid end. Oh, Kim, thanks for putting in that link. I appreciate it. Again, as identical as they could be, and they did really good. Chloe, got your just in case, girl. You didn't need it. There's our fleur de lis, our flower of life. Bid end. Thank you, Miss Ruthie B. Glowy, congratulations and thank you. The pair is coming to you for $40. Congratulations. Gonna start over here. Oh, little glowy hair. Oh, she get she's getting a box together. Now, um, I did say spring Easter decor. Thank you. Spring Easter decor, of course, depending on your religious affiliation, if you happen to have one at all, no judging here. Um, Easter, for us Catholics at least, uh, is all about the resurrection of Christ. I think for most Christianity, they do believe that. However, our next piece is typically very traditional to the Catholic faith. It is... <clears throat> And I want to, I, I wish I had memorized the name. I want to thank um, a viewer for leaving the comment underneath the video when I found this. Um, we do have our crucifix here. Okay. We do have like a medium toned wood. Um, I love this. This is a, it is a cast metal. Okay. It doesn't have like the brass finish on it. I love the dichotomy between this lighter blonde wood and the darker uh, crucified Christ on this one. There are no condition issues to it. Uh, it does in fact have a wall mount. Back here, if you would like to mount it on the wall, you have a total length on the cross from top to bottom of 12 and a half inches. You have a span on the cross from uh, seven inches exact, seven inches exact, 12 and a half inches okay it gives a more antique vibe to it it's not antique it's vintage because of the uh unfinished metal on here um in yesteryear you would refer to it as kind of last rites um they have changed that name thank you very much for the comment to the anointing of the sick this is an anointing of the sick cross okay it does miss melinda it does in fact open and yes the contents are inside and original to the piece i'm going to start it if anybody is interested at just 15 dollars. get it in there so essentially what you do is you just slide the crucifix up <laughs> inside the components are a little bit different in some of them thank you becca i gotcha um, sometimes you have one well that is carved in here and the holy water bottle, it does not have the water in it. Um, sometimes you'll see that the um, bottle sits down in here. And I found these before and the candles are much shorter. They're about half the length and then the holy water bottle goes in here. Not with this one. They're giving you some major beeswax candles in there. Those are the original ones. They're still in their cellophane. They've quite obviously never been used, okay? So then you would take the candles and they go into each side, right? You have the holy water, which can sit in there. You can then take your crucifix and put it in here. Now you could set this up as such with the candles in here. Um, I know mom has gotten, um, it, my gosh, it's been years. Um, but mom does have a, a holy water blessed by the, the Pope. Okay. So there it is. It is our anointing of the sick cross. We'll leave it displayed as such with candles. I think it is beautiful. Um, we pop those back in there. We just take him out. You take, you see how it's notched out. We take that at the top, line them up. When it gets slid down, bloop, and then you could, or if you prefer to hang it on the wall. I like these. I enjoy finding these. Um, I like the religious relics. It, sometimes it's difficult because I know it's, it's very specific. And even if you were raised in the church, some people don't decorate with um, the relics of the church. So, you know, hey. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for the bids. Good 
catch up to you. Miss Kim, Miss Becca, thank you, ladies. Miss Pam, how are you doing today, lady? Miss Melinda, back in. Okay, Miss Avery, gotcha. Ooh. All right, let's do the countdown. Thank you all for the bids. 12 and a half long, seven inch exact on the, um, the span, okay? So here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and a bid end. The bottle is glass. It just has an I and a 7. I don't know that that is of any relevance to anybody, but it's there. Take the candles, make sure I got those candles in there, right? And we're gonna slide them back in there. But perfect for your Easter holiday. Okay. You gotta get them right on the track, maybe. Okay, maybe. What are you doing? He said, because you're trying to profit off of me. I am not. I'm just trying to make a living. All right. There is our Holy Cross, a bid end. Thank you, Miss Ruthie B. Thank you, everybody, for your bids. It is greatly appreciated. Um, okay, I'll catch up. Miss Melinda, girl, you've got great timing. You got in there right before the bid end, but Miss Becca Moore didn't want to let it go. So, Miss Becca at 36, congratulations and thank you, lady. The uh, anointing of the sick crucifix is coming to you. Thank you. All right, get your written down. All right, we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna keep it Easter theme, but we're gonna switch it up with a quick claim, okay? Let me set Jesus over here. Um, now, this is a double. We had one yesterday. This is the second one. Nothing weird happened, okay? So, what? A, hey, Just Him, how are you doing today? Um, Cheryl, you got a fellow UKer over there and just him, just saying, maybe your neighbors. Um, we're going to do this just as a quick claim. I'm going to sell this one as a claim for what the other one sold yesterday, just to keep it simple. Uh, this is the second one that we have. This is in fact, the snow bunnies. It is from 1997, which is vintage as horrific as that is it's the year I graduated high school. Um, it is entitled counting the days till Easter. Is the little snow bunny sitting on the egg with all of the numbers. He's counting down the days. They are one, two, three. Let me try this angle. One, two, three, letting the goose know what's up. Y'all know the deal, right? Department 56. There are no chips. There are no cracks to him. He is coming in at six and a half inches tall to the top of his little ear here. Um, I love the ones, again, that have the lopsided, the folded ears. Whenever the ears show movement, to me, that just really sets the piece off. So they remind me of my grandmother. The nostalgia is real on these, uh, again, snow babies, kind of winter themed, snow bunnies. Clearly, they're spring Easter themed, okay? Six and a half inches tall, no chips, no cracks. It'll be a quick claim of 25, just like the one yesterday, if anybody is interested. We will claim him. He will be number 43. Number 43. Repetition is learning, Michael. Get it in there. 43. And you will get the 1997 Counting the Days to Easter Snow Bunny. No chips or cracks on him. Okay. Quack, quack. Thank you, Ruthie. I'm going to set him to the side. I will watch for the number. <laughs> we'll watch for the number if it comes up. Okay. We're going to switch it back to an offer up. Boop, boop, boop. And I'm going to start it at 15. Okay. This is a little bit different. I actually have two pieces of this today. Um, yeah, Snow Bunny was, sorry, Michelle. He was 25, number 25. So I don't know, Michelle, if, if you want him, 
you can put in 25 or just say yes. Um, we're going to start this next piece off at 15. I did it, and I don't know why, um, because I love it. I don't know. Is this going to be a new passion for me? Perhaps. It should have been a quack claim. Ooh, Marilyn got it. Marilyn got the snow bunny. Congratulations, and thank you, Miss Marilyn. Appreciate you. Miss Marilyn, I got you written down, lady. Thank you. I did it. $15. Boom. It is. I did some Lennox. I did some Lennox. I did. I love this face. It's, you know, clearly not antique, but it's got a great antique Art Nouveau vibe to it. It is our pedestal vase. This is what I love. These leaves up here, again, very, um, very traditional, kind of a Victorian Art Nouveau vibe to it. The pattern is repeating all around the, the bud part of it. It does have it here on the pedestal. And at the top, we see that the leaves are there, but much lighter. Um, the mold or the indentation, I don't know, perhaps it wasn't intended to be as pronounced as on the little bud part here, but I love it. I think it's simple, it's elegant, it is timeless, uh, it is a great accessory, especially for a more traditional kind of Christmas vibe, Christmas vibe, <laughs> Easter vibe. Oh my goodness. There are no chips, there are no cracks to it. It is coming in at 10 and 5 8 inches tall. 10 and 5 8 inches tall. Thank you, Kim. It's nice to be able to go to an antique mall where we've been before. And we know that the dogs are welcome and they have shopping carts. They love a shopping cart. Gracie loves to get up on that edge and just, just Louie will lay down and just be like, whatever. But they do love all the attention that they get. In Ohio Valley, oh, they got attention. Let me tell you what. They got treats up front. They were stocked, ready to go. <laughs> the dogs have been, re their presence has been requested to come back. <laughs> I was like, okay. Um, so that, that was really nice. That was really nice. Um, and everybody was really like, what are they? They're so cute. Oh my gosh, they're so well behaved. I could never bring my dog in here. Like, <laughs> we started them young, right? Thank you, Stephanie, for your bid. Again, uh, beautiful Lennox. Y'all know the color, right? It's that it's that gorgeous, creamy, uh, medium glaze, semi-glossy glaze to it. It's not overdone. It's really simple. Ooh, Stephanie, this will go really well with your um, yellow mist, which, by the way, the flower uh, foam is removed from there, by the way. You know, we got her out. All right. So Miss Stephanie's in it at 15. No chips, no cracks. It is Lennox, Lennox China. Um, I love this one. I do. And 10 and 5 eighths in inches. All right, let's go ahead and do the countdown. So here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And a bid and ooh, it matches almost. Stephanie got your just in case lady of 23. Whew. I don't know. I've seen some big dogs in the antique malls. I just get nervous. There is our Fernie bid and thank you, Miss Ruthie B. Stephanie Lady, congratulations and thank you at 15. Lady, they are it is coming to you. Um What's, did I put the video out? Yeah, I did. I put that one video out. Listen, there were these two uh, golden retrievers and like they were on a leash, but they were walking in the store, but the owner like just dropped the leash because she wanted to go into a booth. And these dogs were, and I was like, are you okay right now? Like, what are you doing? Like, lady, this ain't the dog park. You do realize there's glass everywhere, right? Like. You gonna pay for it? <laughs> I'm judging.
Okay. What is this? Oh, okay. We're really going to switch it up. We'll see what y'all think. We're going to switch it up. Okay. Starting it at $18. If, of course, <clears throat> anybody is interested. It's a tin toy made in Hong Kong. It's the Yon. I could be totally pronouncing that wrong. Y-O-N-E, Yon. Tin toy manufacturing company made in uh, Japan. Let's see if I get his wings up here. I have to pop a spring. So it's right there. This spring, I popped off. Let's try to get it back on there, Michael. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I'm going to do that later. So it is our tin butterfly. Look at that. Now, he does show signs of age. You know, especially here on the underside of his wings, where it's just kind of like a gold. There is a little bit of pitting that's going on to it. It's not like super terrible or anything like that. But again, it does show a little bit of the, um, yeah, they their tails, they're an exuberant dog. Um, there is some signs of age to it, as there are on the front here. Uh, for me, uh, not mad at it. I think it adds a little bit of aesthetic value. It does show its age. I will say one antenna is a little bit longer than the other. I'm not pulling on it like that. This is a key windup. It's underneath this wing. He does work, by the way. He does work. So you wind him up, you set him on. It needs to be a flat surface, but he will uh, roll along. And as he rolls, rolls along, the wings flap. It does work. Okay, I tested it before today's sale just to double check. So, kind of like the Mothra vibe, vibe going on to him, but he is bright, he is colorful. I will tell you this I actually had this hanging on the wall. So, what you can do, you see, there is a little bit of room right in there. So, if you have like a little nail or a little tack, put that in the wall, and you can hang him as a wall hanging if you would prefer, which is how I had him. Uh, displayed. I thought it made for a great wall hanging. Uh, he's bright. He's colorful. Again, we're thinking spring. This guy can stay out year round. Look at the little stars in his eyes. He's getting ready to eat a flower. I just think he's cute and charming. So he's got a total length on his wings of seven and a half inches. He's coming in at seven and a half inches, and then he has a diameter, a wingspan, if you will, uh, five and a half, okay? Five and a half inch wingspan, seven and a half inch length on him. Miss Melinda, I got you in at 18. I think he's charming and cute. He is bright, he is vibrant. And as Litho toys go, he's in pretty gosh darn good condition, okay? Little dings here and there, Nothing substantial, just to know enough to kind of show his age. I think he's fabulous. Use him as a toy, as a desk accessory, or like I said, use him as a wall mount. All right, Melinda, we're going to do your countdown, lady. If anybody else wants to get on the action, now is the time to do it. But only Miss Melinda can use her just in case. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and a bit end. Let's see if I can do this. Pop that little attack out. Get in there. Uh, uh, almost. <laughs> I'm gonna need the tweezers. There's our butterfly bid ad. Thank you, Miss Ricky B. Why was it so easy to get out and such a pain to get back in? Oh, I got it, Melinda. I already got them. So, uh, Melinda, lady, congratulations. Thank you. Did I say thank you, Ruthie? Thank you, Ruthie. Melinda, lady, congratulations. Thank you. He is coming to you. Let's see. Oh, not now, so. 
Well, ah, a little bit. That's what he does. Get it, Melinda. He's amazing. Thank you. All right. Is that him or John? Melinda got the butterfly. Let's do another butterfly, but a different kind of butterfly. I fell in love with this piece. <sighs> the colors, the painting, it is just, it is so perfect. It is so spring. Hmm. There are no condition issues to it. Where am I starting at? We're going to go ahead and start it at $30, if of course anybody is interested. Hmm. Yes, it is Fenton. Gosh darn it. Okay, are you ready? It's the Fenton butterfly. You know, they've done a lot of these. Okay, so let's do let's do this. It does have its sticker right here. Okay. It is artist sign. I have the hardest time because it's green on clear. Van Zyle. I, I, I want to say it's Van Zyle. It's this light green on this clear glass, y'all. It's killer to read. I do believe it says Van Van Zile, V A N Z I L E. Interesting last name, but with McGargle as mine, I, I can't. There's no shade on that one. Now, it is in fact a French opalescent. So it is clear glass with a white opalescent effect. Everything else, the yellow, the green that you were seeing, is actually painted on there. I know, right? You wouldn't, looking at it, especially up here at the top, look at that, you wouldn't know. So we do have some detailing here on the wings, absolutely gorgeous. It is not overdone, just a little bit of accent because it's all about this yellow. And again, that is painted on. We come down into the branch that the butterfly has landed on, just a couple of hand-painted accents, flower here, flower there. You do have some hand painting here running around the base. The green that you're seeing is hand painted. Now, whomever would get it in real life, you'll be able to feel this. It feels like a satin glass effect. I think a lot of you are familiar with, with this. Underneath the wings, again, it feels like it is satin glass, but it's actually been painted. Doesn't it look like Vaseline glass though? Like this doesn't need to live in a UV collection. It doesn't glow because it honestly glows all by itself. I just, I think it is a gorgeous, beautiful piece. Thank you all for your bids. Hey, Lori, how are you doing today? Um, the height on this one to the tip of his wing here, he's coming in at five, in, is that right? Five inches. We have an exact five inch measurement on him. No chips, no cracks. I just think it is such a beautiful piece. Clearly for your spring, your summer, your Easter, this would make an excellent gift. I mean, the sticker is still on there. I think it's so pretty. All right, it really caught my eye from across the room. Let me catch up. Melinda, LD, I got you. LD is in it at 37. Miss Barbara, Miss Barbara's at 38. Miss Lori at 44. Again, it is Fenton, artisan signed, Van, Van Zyle. It's really what it looks like to me. I, it's just that that light green is really not coming in on it. Uh, but it does appear to read Van Zyl, uh, hand painted Fenton butterfly. Thank you all for the bids. It's gorgeous. I love it. Let's go ahead. It's getting washed out. Let's go ahead and do the countdown for you. So here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17. 16, 15, 14, oh, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Miss Barbara, I got your just in case. I mean, they really did their thing. I should say the artisan really did their thing with regards to the way in which they applied the paint. It's just enough, it is just enough. And the yellow, that green, it is so perfectly done. Get it. Thank you everyone for your bids. I'm Thank you, Miss Ruthie, for our Fernie Butterfly bid and appreciate you lady. 
We had those just in cases, Miss Barbara and Melinda, but Lori ain't playing around with her bid of 61. This will go beautiful with the blues, Lori. Ooh, Lori, congratulations and thank you, lady. It is coming to you. All righty. Okay, let's do a big one. We're gonna do the biggest piece. This is the biggest piece that I've done in a while. Okay. Um, or if you just love your pastels, maybe you like your mid-century, um, you like your different kinds of things, you like high impact, you want people to walk into your house and be like, ooh. Kiroa, Marina, how are you today? Um, this piece is going to check off a number of different boxes for a number of different people, I hope. We'll see. She's a large one. She is a large one. Now, I do believe it is Polish art glass. There is no signature. There is not a, sig uh, uh, what do you call them? Stickers on it. Um, hey, Buckeye, how are you doing today? Um, so there is no real clear indication of its origin, but I do believe it to be a Polish art glass, okay? There are no chips, there are no cracks. Whomever had it really valued it though. And you'll see why here in just a second. It's a, it is a big piece. It's a statement piece. It's a statement for a number of different reasons. We're gonna start it at $45. Do you know what it is to you? Ooh, look at look at Yes, boys and girls. It's got a very mid-century vibe to it. You know, um, the genie bottle style. Um, however, it is in like a pink glass. The pink itself is very much like a pink depression color tone, okay? So there's like a little bit of a brown undertone to it. Um, it reads like a 20s, 30s pink depression. I am not saying that the piece is actually um, from the Depression era. It's just so that you get a color read on it, okay? The total height of the piece, as I said, this is some old residue sticker. It will come off. I didn't I didn't do it. There's no signature. Um, I believe this is probably where the sticker was, but, you know, it's not there. Um, like I said, I do believe it is a Polish art glass. There are some inclusions in the glass, air bubbles. There's not ash or anything. So you are seeing an air bubbles collection there, okay? It's definitely a statement, right? It's femininity with a point. Um, the total height on this, from base to stopper, you were looking at 20 and a half inches. 20 and a half inches on this one. Okay, that does include a stopper. The stopper itself, are you ready for it? Is eight and three fourth inches. Eight and three fourth inches on just the stopper. The bottle comes in at 13 and a half inches. 13 and a half inch bottle. So the bottle is still substantial, but you get eight and three fourth with um, the stopper. The stopper, I'm shipping from Pennsylvania. Um, what I will tell you, and I know that some people aren't familiar with this, and I do believe that it bears explaining, um, especially when it comes to something like this, because you're like, whoa, that's going to be an arm and a leg to ship. It, it actually won't be. Um, because when we say, thank you, Angela, she knows what's up. Um, when I say we use a discounted shipping program, what I mean is, is that if you were to walk into the post office, Karen knows what I'm talking about. Um, she's a vamp seller. Um, when you walk into the post office to ship something like this, like let's say that I'm shipping it from Pennsylvania to Seattle, okay? And I was just strolling in there. I'm just gonna stroll in. I'm gonna pay for shipping, right? Now, ground advantage is available to the general public. However, the ground advantage that I would pay if I just walked into the post office is about 40% more, 40% more than when I use the discounted shipping program, whether that is through Shippo, through Pirate Ship, through ShipStation, 
um, or if you have an eBay seller. So that's why you typically get discounted shipping um, or why it is so much when you walk into a post office because you're like, that's a, huh? How much? <laughs> it will come in a custom box. But if I have to use UPS, I will certainly use UPS to make sure that you get the very best shipping rate. Okay. All right. So appreciate you, ladies. Obviously, I'll catch up to you here. I'm seeing your bids. I appreciate it. What I wanted to point out to you is, is that the owner loved this piece. Look at, I want to just point this out. Look before I do that. Look how thick that glass is. That's good glass. That's some good thick glass, y'all. Okay. That is some good thick glass. Like it ain't cheap. All right. Whomever had it loved their piece so much. And I do want to point, there are no chips or cracks. It does have the sanded bottom here. I don't know that, I mean, I don't know. If you did have a whole lot of something, you could use it as a perfume bottle. I don't know. Um, this. And the vendor was kind enough to include this information. This has been custom made. <laughs> this has been custom made. The stopper has been custom made. It's actually been 3D printed. Um, and it does provide a very secure fit. So it's not plastic. I mean, I guess technically it is. But this has been 3D printed for, for this decanter, okay? So whomever lo had it, loved it enough um, that they had a, a seal uh, 3D printed for it. So again, no chips or cracks. And the stopper itself is gorgeous. Look at that. So total height on your stopper, again, eight and three fourth inches. Let me do this so I only have this in here. Uh, Karen, Melinda, appreciate them. Is Karen, Miss Angela Bacher getting in on it? Um, acrylic safety feature seal right there. Uh, I know, it's amazing what those printers can do. Welcome back, Buckeye. Uh, no chips or cracks. Eight and three-fourth inches just on the stopper. Thirteen and a half inches on the bottle. And I did measure up to the top. Okay. Once we have everything assembled, Alrighty. Once we have everything assembled, your total height, 20 and a half inches, 20 and a half inches. Hey, Rebecca, what a great item to walk into. Okay. Yeah. It's a statement piece. She's a big one. Thank you all for your bids. Let's go ahead and do the countdown. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, on guard, 4, 3, 2, 1, and a bid end. Look, do you know how I got it? Sad but true. I went to an antique mall that I had never been to before, right? A booth had great stuff. Didn't realize it, but somebody pointed out that there was a booth moving sale. So the vendor actually already had really good prices, but then they marked everything at 50% off. It's the only way I was able to get it. I was so tickled. I was like, I was debating it at getting the price that it was. So then I was like, oh, we're getting it. Thank you, Miss Ruthie, for our bouquet bid and appreciate you, lady. Well, happy birthday, Miss Becca T. Happy birthday, lady. Thank you for spending a little bit of here today with me, with us. That is greatly appreciated. Thank you, everyone, for your bids. Angela, Miss Melinda, get it. But Miss Chasen, she chased it down. She stomped it. Lady, with that just in case, Miss Karen, $81. What a great Get, enjoy, love it. Thank you, Melinda. Appreciate No, thank you, Karen. Appreciate it. I'm going to set that over there. Way out of the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's do a quick claim. 
we're going to, I'll keep the pink theme going here. Got to get rid of it. We got to get rid of it. Um, we're going to do a quick claim. Okay. We're going to do some pink Viking satin glass. Okay. Pink Viking satin glass. It will be $15 if anybody is interested. Again, the tone reads in real life, more of that depression pink hue. So there's a little bit of a brown undertone to it. It's not so much that it, it doesn't read pink, but it's got more of that antique pink vibe to it, okay? No chips, no cracks. This would make an excellent candle holder if you would want to. It would be a great catch-all. This is something, like if you have pocket change, when you come in, I'm one of those people, I will empty out the pocket change immediately. So think outside the box. You could do something that's absolutely beautiful as a decor item, but it actually will serve you a functional purpose. Have that place where you put your change, okay? Now I do wanna point out one thing. There is an air bubble that resides right here, kind of giving us a white head effect. It is not a chip, it is not a crack, but there is an air bubble right here and you can feel it. Let's see here, there it is. Again, giving us a little bit of a pop, that pimple feel, 100%, use it as a floral base, totally up to you. No chips or cracks. We're gonna do it for $15 if anybody is interested. It is seven and a half inches to the top of the point, seven and a half inches. It does have a great deco look to it. And then we have a diameter. Isn't that a beautiful opening? Look at that. Um, the widest diameter that I came up with was five and a half, five and a half inch diameter, okay? But it is a Viking satin glass, floral vase, catch all, change, do your thing with it, put a candle in it, don't put anything in it, totally up to you. $15, if anybody is interested, you just have to put in the number 15, number 15, and you will get it for $15. Again, it is a Viking satin glass, beautiful pink. There is like a, a, a texture to it, which I like. Ooh, Buckeye getting in. Thank you, Melinda. Oh, thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Buckeye was the first 15. Yes, she was. Good timing, lady. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's do another claim. This was so bad. Like, seriously, when I say that I need the space, this was at, like the back of my card. Didn't even know that I had it there. And I was like, why is this here? And I was like, oh, I see why. Um, this is, yeah. This is a, a piece of, this is a piece of Mosser glass, okay? It's not very traditional for Mosser glass. The, the one, the color, two, the actual subject matter, but it is this blue, um, kind of like a, a, like Fenton's Colonial Blue, if you're familiar with that. It is a blue pedestaled swan base. Now it is a mini, okay? And by mini, I mean eight and a half inches tall. Eight and a half inches tall. It is hallmarked with the monster glass stamp here. Let's see if we can get the angle that up, right up there. Now I'm gonna do it for just $10 if anybody is interested. The reason being is that there is actually a chip on this. I didn't realize it when I purchased it, the chip. Well, let me see if I can use the pen. The chip, let me try this again. Hmm, the light, it's right here. There it is. Can you? It's right here. There is a chip on it right there. It's not sharp, but it is there. All right, right here. About two millimeters, I would say. About two millimeters. Otherwise, it's a beautiful shade of blue. Um, the chip. Where does it reside? When we have it displayed on the front, the chip would live right here. Okay, it would live right there. So eight and a half inch monster in that beautiful blue. It's gonna be just $10 if anybody is interested. You just have to put in the number 14, the number 14 and you'll get that monster. It's beautiful. I mean, it's 10 bucks, you know what I mean? Why not? Stephanie snatched it. 
She was lightning quick on that one. Stephanie, congratulations and thank you. It is coming to you. you you've got quite the little mini bun base going on. Yeah, got it. Thank you. I did throw in some surprise items too, didn't I? Did I? Sweet. What are we, where are we going now? Oh, we're going to do a choice, y'all. A choice. What? Alert. What? It's all Stephanie's fault. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> there's always an exception to the rule and these two little ones are definitely an exception to the rule. Same antique wall that we got the pink decanter from, that we got the Fenton butterfly from, we got these from, immediately caught my eye and I was like, oh, we're doing it, right? <clears throat> this is a choice. There are no condition issues on either. This is a hard choice because I don't know. I think both are equally beautiful, but for different reasons. Okay. I need a little accessory for this. Bloop. Choice will start at 25 if, of course, anybody is interested. Are you ready? These aren't quite tiny treasures, but for what they are, they're tiny. Are you ready? I love them. They're so five inches. They're five inches tall to the top of their handle. They are both Fenton. Now one, okay, our custard one here, kind of like our Burmese glass, does have the Fenton sticker. Our purple lilac does not, okay? Both are hand signed. One, they went back to that stinking light green paint on the purple one. Look, in real life, it it looks like it says Henderson. Babaka. Uh, it looks like it says Henderson. But it's that light green. That light green and I do not get along. Okay. So this will be choice one. It's just going to be purple. Look at with the little white daffodil on there. Look at all. Look at the color. Isn't that beautiful? Again, five inches tall. It is as cute as it can be. I love how tiny this is. It just goes to show that, like, even though it's small, it can still be mighty. I love this. All right. No chips, no cracks to it. It is hand signed by what I believe to be, again, Henderson. Don't quote me on that one. Okay. Painted front, painted back, painted on the basket itself. That is choice one. It'll be purple. Choice number two is our Burmese. Okay. This one looks like it says Burkhart. Looks like it says Burkhart. There it is. Okay. But that is in the Burmese and it has the little purple butterfly on it. Look at that. Now, the basket itself has less detailing. Um, because there's more going on on the actual body. Whereas on the purple, we have less move or more less detail on the body, but more accents there on the top. So you can choose uh, purple or Burmese. And yes, it does. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, the Burmese does. Well, the natural light ain't going to help me out today, is it? The Burmese does glow. Okay. And it does light up pretty, well, there you go. It does light up pretty gosh darn good, okay? So if you do have a UV light collection, this would be an awesome addition to it. If you don't, I think it's still an equally beautiful piece. Miss Melinda, I got you in it at 25, thank you. So Burmese is choice one, choice two is your purple. You could do one, you could do both, that's totally up to you. Thank you, Miss Karen. Thank you, Miss Stephanie. Gotcha. Melinda at 27 also. Um, I love the color. I mean, clearly, I don't know. Like, 
it's a hard pick. It's such a hard pick for me as to which one I prefer. Like I'm loving that pink and purple color combination, but then I'm loving the hand painting on here. Hard call, right? All right, we got Miss Melinda back in at 28. Ladies, I appreciate the bid. So you do purple or Burmese. Is that what I have them written down as? Custard. So let's make it easy. Custard. <laughs> it's an easier word to spell. Custard or purple. Totally. Up. Oh my God. A single egg in there. That would be so stinking cute in there. All right. Let's do the countdown. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and a bid end. Of course, ooh, the entirety of it, with the exception of the pink glows, of course. Like I said, the purple satin, that one doesn't glow. I, just, I love the color. Ooh, great minds. Oh, flower butterfly, bid end. Thank you, Miss Ruth Brie. Appreciate you. Karen girl, you almost got it coming right after the bid end. All right. The five, 38, oh, but Rebecca and Melinda had great minds. They thought alike, those two. But Miss Rebecca T got her first 39 in first. So Rebecca, do you want custard? Do you want purple? Are you going for a clean sweep and getting both? Totally up to you. Miss Melinda, I got gotcha you as backup at 39. So we shall, oh, she said clean sweep, but she's going for both. They're going to stay together. I have a feeling that they probably were from the same collector. There were so many of these minis, like, but I couldn't. I just, I couldn't do them all, okay? Congratulations and thank you, Rebecca. They are both going to come to you. All right. Get your ready. All righty. Let's do another claim, shall we? Now, I said we had two, two pieces. This is our second piece. Oh, do you see that? Do you see this, Miss Karen? HB, that's happy birthday. That is amazing. I told you there was good people out here in this community. Gosh darn it. Get it. Happy birthday again, Miss Rebecca. All righty. <clears throat> We're going to do another quick claim. Um, aw, and see, you just never know. All right, let's do it. Look, I spent time trying to look it up and it was stamped on the bottom exactly what it was the entire time. It is another piece of Lennox. Okay. It is the Lennox China Jewels Collection. All righty. I love this little guy. Look at it. It's a Lennox snail. Do you see kind of like the fern or the leaf detailing going across the body? Just really unusual. You know, classic Lennox. It's a very simple sculpt. It is the, the it is the hallmark of the Lennox. It's that cream pottery, that gorgeous glaze. So a little sweetheart snail. Now he is five and three fourth inches from the tip of his tail to his little snout here. Five and three fourth inches, and he's coming in at two and three fourth inches to the top of his shell. Now, they did a variety of, of snails. This one is again part of the jewels collection. What makes him part of the Jewels collection is because Lennox, look at that, that gold. Now this would have been a, like a stencil transfer. And then we have like the little cabochon details to it, a gorgeous kind of sapphire, and then like a traditional navy blue. Look at that. I love that. So those are enameled on there. They're not actual jewels. That is a gorgeous color combination, but true to Lennox form, they didn't overdo it. You know, 
They said simple and elegant. I mean, who knew a snail could be so elegant? All righty. Hey, Bob girl, how you doing? See you soon, lady. Um, look at that. So again, no chips, no cracks. He's gonna be a quick claim at his longest. He is uh where? Five and three fourth inches, two and three fourth inches tall. Eighteen dollars for the Lennox. Eighteen dollars. Just put in the number eighty-one. The number eighty-one, and you'll get. Oosh, oosh, oosh. I love that. I love it. Love it. Love it. That is beautiful, Miss Mary B. Lady, congratulations. And thank you, Barbara. I appreciate you also. Miss Birkenstock girl, Audrey, thank you, lady. Miss Birkenstock girl, Miss Mary B, it's coming to you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Girl. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's go back into an offer up. Okay, the iridescence of this really, uh, the iridescence of this really gives me, a, you know, a spring Easter kind of vibe to it, but it is a piece, you know, that you can certainly leave out year round. There are no condition issues to it. There are no chips. There are no cracks. Now, this one is unsigned, okay? Um, there were a number of, I think, a lot of times, oh gosh, what was his, Eisenhower, Dave? Am I making it up? Could be, don't quote me. Um, I was introduced to this pattern through Fenton Glass, but there are other artisans who actually did it. Again, this one is not signed, okay? But it is in fact our hanging heart perfume. It is in a clear glass with an iridescent effect. Um, as I said, there are no chips, there are no cracks. That does include the stopper, okay? Now you do have a ground stopper bottom if you would choose to use it as a perfume bottle. Um, I don't, yeah, here you can see they did grind it a little bit just to help with the friction. Um, you can twist it a little bit and it will lock itself in place. So I'm still being careful. So it's not gonna fall out on you, okay? Hands down here, just in case. Um, no flea bites to it. No chips, no cracks. Again, it is unsigned, unsigned hanging heart. So I can't ascribe it to a specific artisan. I can't ascribe it to Fenton, um, but it is absolutely beautiful. It's got like a very like bubble effect to it, like soap bubble effect, that clear with that iridescence, you know what I'm talking about? And of course you do have the hanging heart. So one, two three four five we have six hearts and i'm happy to report that five out of the six very much are reading heart however our sixth one got a little crazy okay that sixth one got a little crazy bloop bloop give me that isn't that pretty? So again, we do have grinding on the interior to help lock in the dauber. The dauber itself, no chips, cracks, or flea bites to it. That does have a ground bottom. I would say like an essential oil probably could live in here without evaporating. It does have, and I did do the little lock, but you can see, I mean, I wouldn't say that it's airtight, but it does have a great hold on it. So. An essential oil, I don't think that you would have a problem with that, okay? Total height on the piece from base to the top of the finial, you are looking at seven inches exactly. Base to the top of the finial, seven inches. Y'all, thank you so much for the bids. I'm gonna catch up and then we will do our countdown. Miss Melinda, Miss Audrey. Miss Audrey's holding it at 26. Alrighty, let's go ahead and do the countdown. Hey, you have a great rest of the day. Say hello to bob for us you be safe out there too lady all righty let's do it 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 
seven six five four three two one and a bid end seven inches with that stopper inserted good luck on it okay melinda got your just in case lady Ooh, audrey girl you almost had it we've got our hanging heart bid end thank you miss ruthie b Audrey, I appreciate you, but Miss Melinda got that just in case in. So at 27, Melinda, congratulations and thank you, lady. It is coming to you. All righty. Okay. This is, this is a really interesting piece. We're going to try it out, see what you all think. Okay. Uh, I've got some Jasper, Jasper wear here for y'all, okay? This is one of my most favorite companies. It is Shaper Walter. It's a pretty distinguished hallmark, okay? So here on the back, you see it's got like the crown and it almost has like one of those Batman pow signs to it, like a word bubble. So that's what you want to keep out for, keep your eye out for. This is a little muddled, but sometimes you will see like a little flag coming down, like a ribbon underneath here. This one, you're not seeing it, but the, it looks like the mold kind of gave out right down here. So it is Shaper Water 1800s. It's a hair receiver. So we've got pink Jasper wear. Now there is a light brushed green glaze running around the perimeter. Look at that Art Deco detail. Okay, we don't want to go and give it away too much. So that's really detail there on the front. Isn't that beautiful? But still great spring vibes to it. Check out the lid. Ready? Isn't that fabulous? Look, Schaefer Water did some weird stuff. They did some weird color combinations. This particular piece they've done in, in three different finishes. Um, this one is our pink jasper. They're all pink jasper wear. Some have more paint, some actually have less, but we've got our gorgeous Art Nouveau lady up there. Look at that. So of course, Victorian ladies brush their hair, place their hair in their hair receiver. Um, that's how we get a lot of that hair art, a lot of morning jewelry made from hair. Okay, here's your interior. I do wanna let you know, there is a flea bite right here on the interior see right there okay um that is definitely a flea bite i i don't know how to feel about this one i will say for me i am personally feeling like it came from factory like this right where am i at right here let's see if i can get it to focus see how it kind of comes in here but when I look on the interior, it doesn't necessarily have that flea bite, crack, or break feel to it. It honestly feels like it did come from the factory like this, the studio uh, like this. So I do want to point that out to you. I do think it is a manufacturing issue and not that somebody broke it. But I do believe to be is this little flea bite right here, okay? So Schaefer Vauder, pink Art Nouveau hair receiver, gorgeous. Because of the, the one questionable and the flea bite, I'm going to start the piece off at $20, okay? So there's your vibe on it. Love it. Clearly, I think it goes great for spring, Easter. If you love your antiquities, this is just an exceptional piece. Get it, Chloe. Okay, I actually have one of these myself. I love the subject matter. Uh, the color combinations are a little odd, but that is something that Shaper Water is known for. They're also known for some really like weird subject matter. Um, like anthropomorphic, but like kind of more of like a macabre vibe. Not like the 50s, It's it's very much like, a little unsettling on some of the pieces. Thank you, Melinda, I appreciate you. So our total length on this one, we are coming in at 
four inches and then a one inch rise on that. Okay, look at that. I just, I love their stuff. Can't get enough of it. I think it is absolutely beautiful. This would be great as a little trinket dish. Maybe you have your own tiny treasures, um, something like this. Like for me, it's like where all the little memorial buttons kind of live. Um, I like that experience. You know, you're like, oh, I've got my buttons. Let me go through them. Take it out. And you've got all of your little tiny treasures in there. Just small things within small things within small things. I love that. It's like a box within a box within a box. It's just a perpetual discovery of it. So again, we do have that flea bite here on the root, uh, the base. I do believe that it's from the manufacturer here on the lid, but the actual exterior, great condition. All right, Glowy's at 25. Oop, jumped on me. Miss Melinda in it at 27. Shape of Water with your stamp there. So memorize that one. If it's weird, it's got like that 1800s vibe, flip it over and check for this. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the countdown. Ladies, thank you for your bids. So 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Yes, yes, Heidi. It's definitely for the weird lover out there. Um, I like this because it almost, it gives it like, it's like there's moss growing on it. And they just did things like that. Like it wasn't like in your face um, with those kind of little details, but then some of it was very in your face. Thank you, Ruthie, for our pink bow bid end. Thank you, ladies, for your bids. El, El Maslow came in with a bit of 30. Melinda has real good time in today, girl. You got that bit of 37 in, but Ms. Car Ms. Glowy played it safe with that just in case at 38. Glowy, congratulations and thank you. Another piece, ladies, coming to you. Appreciate it. All right. Get you written down. I couldn't believe I got this. It was on sale. They had it on sale, like legit sale tickets on it. I was like, okay. get it where I can get it. Oh, this next piece. Okay. I am giving you pinks today. And it's funny because I was like, I don't know if y'all like pink. <laughs> yeah, it was, I am still, it just didn't got me. Okay. I found this piece and I didn't know what was going on with it. When I saw it, I was like, oh, that is clearly a Fenton piece. And it is a Fenton piece. And I'm not sure what to make of it because it is not stamped, though it is the 75th anniversary Fenton piece. So it should have been stamped. And I have looked and looked and looked. Uh, it is not muddled. I don't see any, any indication that it has its Fenton mark, but it is in fact, it's, it is Fenton. It's a really odd shape. Now it is the Fenton Velva Rose, okay? It does have an iridescent effect to it. It is not super intense. What really had me scratch my head was it has like a crackle, do you see that? It's got like a crackle glass effect to it, but it's so much more like ice crystal vibe. Now, you do feel like a texture from the iridescence. Let's see if I can get the irid. No. Well, it does have an irid. Well, you can see a little bit of flex back here. Not a lot. Okay. It does go throughout the, there are no chips, there are no cracks on the base. It's got a really interesting pull. I mean, that is a full. Oh, you can see more iridescence there on the interior. Okay, just, it was just a, I've never seen Fenton do that before. Now, when we go in here, I believe it's not crackle glass. You can feel that texturing on the interior. So don't quote me, but it quite frankly feels 
like they acid etched the interior to create that effect okay you can like i said you can feel it is coarse on the interior which leads me to believe that it was acid etched it could have been sandblasted i don't know how feasible it would be to create that with sandblasting but if you didn't know that's how they actually get the the two treatments is acid or sandblasting to create satin um i do believe it's 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 some kind of chemical etching that created that beautiful all right but it is fenton's 75th anniversary it is but there is no there ain't nothing velva rose iridescent with what i believe to be an acid etching on the interior no chips or cracks to her i'm going to Bear with me. We're going to start her at 20 if anybody is interested. Okay. This one is coming in at 11 and a half inches. 11 and a half inches tall. Okay. It's larger. Um, they do have, they made ones uh, about seven, eight inches in the smaller miniature um, vases. There's uh, flat bases and there is a smaller pedestal. There is also um, another one. I have not seen this one, but it's got a much more bulbous uh, base to it. And it's got like that teardrop effect to it. So really interesting piece, I think. All right, Melinda, I got you in it at 20. I agree, Melinda, the day you stop learning or the day you think you know it all. We all know somebody like that, don't we? <laughs> all right stephanie and bobby i appreciate you bobby girl i'm back in pennsylvania i got your um packet bobby's making a special appearance in the video too yes she is she doesn't know it but she just found out today yes she did um all right bobby's got it at 22 again it is fenton the color is the velva rose with an iridescent effect it has an etching that creates this ice crystal vibe to it. Loving that, by the way. Almost a lace feel to it. And we are coming in at a mighty 11 and a half inches. 11 and a half inches on this one. All righty. I would say it's more peachy. It does have a peachy undertone to it. Okay. There we're getting more of the iridescence like i said it's not heavy it's just enough it's just enough all right let's do the countdown thank you melinda so 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and a bid and I don't know if it just didn't get stamped or like I said, maybe it was older. You can see the mold marks here. Maybe because it was like the, the mold was nearing the end of its life and it just didn't get that Fenton impression in there. But I don't even see any like the circle or the swirl. So there is our ice cube a bit end. Thank you, Miss Ruthie B. Appreciate you. All right. Catch up. So Bobby came in at 25. Stephanie, you got that just in case, girl. But Miss Melinda, with her just in case of 32 at 30, it is coming to you, Miss Melinda. Thank you again, lady. Appreciate that. Hey, Mike, how are you doing today? All righty. Get it. Where are we doing? Oh, okay. Let's do something that's not glass, that's not pottery. Oh, because it's it's everybody has glass and pottery. Well, duh. All right. Keeping in the season of Easter, okay, with the religion. I'm very proud of myself for letting this go, but I'm going to do it. We're committed. Here we go. We're going to start it off at twenty dollars. It is an antique children's book but it, it is written for a mature reader, an adult reader, 
could, of course, uh, pick this one up. It does not have a copyright, but because of the manufacturer, we can date it to mid late 1800s, okay? And it's in very good antique condition. It is, are you ready for it? It is a Raphael and Tuck and Sons publication, New York, London, Paris. This particular one was printed, um, designed, pardon me, in the studios of England. It was also printed in England. We'll see that here. It is from the Father Tux series. This is the New Testament, okay? It is, in fact, our Lord's Miracles. It is a plain back, okay? So there is some discoloration with age. There we go. So you can see it all. This has got brown and white illustrations, but it also has a full color chromio lithographs in here that are still super shiny. Our biggest issue is that Miss Betty, she did write her name in there, okay? So like I said, it is the brown and white text, or pardon me, images. Miss Betty did claim it, okay? You ready? It's not a huge book. By the way, I mean, it's pretty, but these Raphael and Tuck, especially in this condition, stop it. All right, ready, ready. So this is the raising of, of Jarius's daughter. Look at, look at those. Now, if you're not familiar, the chromiolithographs, unlike our current um, color prints, there is a luster and a shine to them, which I don't think I'm catching, quite frankly on camera. Oh, there we go. Do you see the depth and the richness of that color? It is absolutely beautiful. There are no rips, there are no tears to the actual pages. Look at it, here we go. We've got feeding of the 5,000. Feeding of the 5,000. Again, we do have brown and white. Uh, illustra Thank you, Kelly, for your bid. Appreciate that. Feeding of the 5,000, again, chromiolithograph. So it's got that beautiful shine and luster to it. The, it's just the richness of the color. It, oh. Here is our center. It is a stapled book. Measurement, I can get that for you. 30. We're in the center. The book is five, five, 10 and 5 8 inches, 10 and 5 8 inches long. And then we have a width of the book at an exact eight and a half, an exact eight and a half an inch width. I feel like we can go through this whole book because it's not very big. Okay, so we did our center page. Now we are on the changing the water into wine. Look at that. Oh, wait. There we go. See? Do you see the luster? Like where Jesus' head is, especially those dark colors, it almost has like a metallic feel to it. These books are, are beautiful. The illustration is stunning. I mean, and this is a children's book too. Uh, we have The Raising of Lazarus. Uh, do you see that? The luster? I hope that's coming through for you guys. The Raising of Lazarus, and I believe this is, this is our last, so there it is. Exceptional book, the Raphael and Tuck, the McLaughlin brothers, those are the ones that even in today's market command the highest dollars, so always be on the lookout for those. Raphael and Tuck, they did paper dolls, they did postcards, I think is what something they're most well known for. Um, they did a lot more diversity than McLaughlin Brothers, but McLaughlin Brothers did do some good toys. So I'm just saying, and McLaughlin did some pa excellent paper dolls too. All right, let's do it. Kelly, got you in it at 20. Miss Purdy, in it at 22. Appreciate you. Let's go ahead and do the countdown. So it is Raphael and Tuck. It is not copyrighted, but because of the publisher, we know it's mid to late 1800s. It is Our Lord's Miracle. Miss Betty did write her name in there. But outside of that, the book is in excellent antique condition. So here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Kelly knows what's up. She knows. I don't know who will get it though. There is our book bid and thank you, Miss Ruthie B. Purdy, I sure do appreciate it. But Kelly won playing around with that just in case. Oh, look at her. Kelly is giving a look. Um, with that just in case is 75. Kelly, congratulations and thank you at 23. It is coming to you. Well, if Kelly got it at 75, that would still be a deal on these books. Seems crazy, but yeah. These, the Raphael and Tux, McLaughlin brothers, keep your eye out for them, y'all. Keep your eye out for them. All right, Miss Kelly with an E. We're coming down to the end of our sale, too. For we've got five items left. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with me for this long. There. Okay, let's do uh, a simple classic piece. This one is from Fenton. It is. We're going back to our roots, y'all. Going back to our roots. Where are we at? Do, 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 do. 15. We're starting her off at 15. It is our Fenton French opalescence. It's clear glass with a white opalescent effect. It is our hobnail. This is the horned cornucopia. Come on. Um, a variety of different sizes. About yay big was the smallest. And then they went up to about yay big. That's That looks, that's so, they went up to yay big, can't you tell? Um, so this is the medium sized. You can use these as floral vases. Uh, I think that these are great accents, especially into your spring or Easter decor. Um, it just kind of, it's the opalescent. That I think helps lighten things up, especially if you're working with the pastels. Um, something like clear glass and, and a white opalescent will really help bring a little bit of vibrancy to your pastel colors, for example. Thank you, Bobby. Um, you know, when you contrast it with something like your basket, you, know, you do get a little bit of depth to it with the opalescent, but it's not fighting against that. Hey, Saturn, how are you today? So you do have the option to use these to contrast. This is this is my favorite though, the glass with the glass, Fenton with Fenton. I mean, stop it. That's elegant, it's elevated. It's giving you kind of a fun whimsical vibe to it, but still kind of maintaining a little bit of maturity to it, okay? Not that there's anything wrong with being completely immature in your Easter decor. I'm gonna set the butterfly down. Ladies, thank you for the bids, do appreciate you. So we are coming in at five and a half inches tall on the ruffle, five and a half inches tall. And then your diameter on that one from ruffle to ruffle here, five inches, exactly five inches diameter on that one. So timeless, elegant, no Fenton stamp. Well, of course, I appreciate y'all being here. I mean, why not? All right, I'm gonna catch up. Bobby Stephanie Sharkey, Bobby Earp coming back in. Miss Jones gonna use it with her milk glass. All right, y'all, thank you for the bids. No chips, no cracks, no stamp. All righty. Five and a half tall. Right. Five and a half tall, five inch diameter on that one. Let's go ahead and do the countdown. Thank you, ladies. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bid and Kim, you better stop. A hot fudge Sunday. I mean, if you're gonna give somebody a Sunday, may as well. Do y'all remember the friendly glasses? <laughs> it kind of is like that, right? Like the old friendlies glasses. They put the what was the name of that Sunday? It was like the kids' Sunday, and then he had they put the Reese's pieces. Eyes on the cone, the um, the fudge cone hat on him. Y'all remember what I'm talking about? You knew you were highfalutin if you got that Sunday. 
Thank you, Miss Ruthie, for the diamond bid. And thank you, everybody, of course, for your bids. Bobby, I appreciate you, girl, but it did come in after the bid. And Miss Stephanie Sharkey, girl, almost, she almost had it, but Miss Stephanie Kite came in with that bid at 26 right before the bid end at $26. Stephanie, congratulations. And thank you, lady. It is coming to you. The Clown Sunday, was that all it was? Was the Clown Sunday, right? Basic, but straightforward. You knew what you were getting. Y'all can see it though, right? Can you, you can literally see the menu. You can feel the menu right now, I bet. Mm -hmm. Our friendlies was in the mall. Did you guys have friendlies in the mall back when the malls were the place to be? That friendlies hung out for a hot minute too. They lasted for a good bit. That friendlies was in there through my high school days because I can remember going in there. With the they had a bat, Reese's Pieces Sunday. I don't remember the bat. Okay, what am I doing? This. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'm going to start this piece at just $12. It is a glass piece. Um, it is a... Oh, it was a mint chip bat. Okay. Um, so we've got this... Oh, I peeked it. So we've got this gorgeous uh, custard rose bowl. It, uh, I'm calling it bohemian. We do have the uh, Ponsel mark that is rough, okay? While there are no chips or cracks to the glass, it is hand painted on the front. I kind of vibe with it, I like it. But there is wear to the hand painting, which you can kind of clearly see here. This almost reads like it's tissue paper that's been laid on. It, it has been hand painted, okay? So I don't know. I kind of like that primitive antique look to it. But again, it's an, to an each their own, okay? Oh, I didn't even measure this, y'all. Let me get you a measurement. That would be helpful, maybe. So we are at four and a fourth. Four and a fourth inches tall. Bobby, I got you in it at 12, girl. Man. So, oh, hey, Tiffany, girl. Yes. Oh, well. It does, in fact, glow. Now, I'm in broad daylight with the overhead skylight, the whole nine yards. This thing lights up like nobody's business. Um, again, if you have a UV light display collection, this definitely can live in there. Uh, if you don't, I still think it's a beautiful uh, color without being lit up. So whether you like the flowers, Bloop, 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 bloop. We turn it around and you don't want to see the flowers. That's entirely up to you. You can go on to Amazon and get a little LED um, tea lights. And if you didn't know, with the LEDs, like the really bright kind of blue light ones, it, it creates that uranium green glow without it being a UV light. So if you like it, but you don't have a UV light display, you don't want to invest in one, check out Amazon. You could probably get five for like $10 or less and create your own little false UV light display. So candle holder, a nothing holder, a beautiful piece, totally up to you. Thank you all for the bids. Uh, Bobby's at 20, Miss Kim, Miss Bobby, gotcha ladies. What did I say for? Four and a half? I can't remember because I didn't read one. I could tell you something from 20 years ago, but I can't tell you from two minutes. Ain't that a shame? Four and a fourth. Four and a fourth on that. All righty. Let's go ahead. No chips or cracks on the glass, uh, but there is clear wear to the painting. I like it. Let's do it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and a bit and beautiful green uranium glow. Whoop, getting washed out now.
Neener, neener. I like it a lot. I sure do. All right. There's our tulip. Good end. Thank you, Miss Ruthie B. Miss Baba Earp, girl, you got your just in case in, but lady, you didn't need it because at $24, that uranium custard flower rose bowl, it's coming to you at 24. Congratulations, lady, and thank you so much. All right. Bobby. Thank you for the, I mean, I know it's Sunday, but we can put it on. All the things, all the things. All righty, let's do this piece. This is an interesting one. I love the look of this. Where are we at? We're going to start it at 15, if anybody is interested. It is this absolutely beautiful, reticulated, four-footed planter. Now, it is done in a Greek revival style. This is vintage, it is not antique, okay? Vintage, not antique. There are no chips, there are no cracks to it. Nay, there is technically, there's, well, I'll just go ahead and show it to you. It's on the interior. It actually is from the manufacturer. So when they were firing it, it got a little too hot, a little too quick. So there is some separation here that is glazed. You can't like, you can't get your fingernail in it. So they glazed over it. So that isn't there. Okay? These are from a well, stand. It's called Good Friend. This is made. It's a fine porcelain. It's made in Spain. Who'd have thought? Do you know what I just realized? <laughs> My dumb, you know what? Didn't just realize that on camera. Do you see the feet? What are the feet? Do you know what they do with feet? Do you know what it is? Can you tell me? I'll go close. Anybody? That's a band aid. I didn't even. <laughs> I mean, it's one way to make sure it doesn't scratch your wood or glass. I <laughs> what is it? Necessity is the mother of intervention. Listen, y'all got some corn pads out there hanging out in your medicine cabinet and you ain't using them. Put them on the bottom of your vintage and antiques. Protect your wood, protect your glass. There you go. Pro tip right here from this old person here. Um, this is good for <laughs> fine porcelain made in Spain, that beautiful reticulated. They make a variety of different shapes, uh, much of which does have this reticulation. Now, Richard has a much larger one. There is a round one. Um, there's this shape, but larger. There's a larger round. Never saw this little one. What's nice about it is that it does, in fact, include its porcelain insert. Now, the porcelain insert, they just literally wrote made in Spain. Okay. They weren't too fussed with this. You will note on the interior, note that this is not staining. It's not pitting. Um, it's inclusions. So it wasn't glazed over. Um, or maybe it was and it just, it didn't adhere to those surfaces. So there is no removing that. It is again under glaze from the manufacturer, okay? So you do get the porcelain insert, which is super nice because if you do want to use it as a floral base, I mean, technically you could without the insert because you're coming in at about an inch from base to the top of your reticulation point, but it's honestly not going to give you a whole lot of um, water for your flowers if you wanted to put flowers in there and they'll suck them up you'd have to water it every day at least so put that insert in again uh good friend fine porcelain made in spain it is three and a half inches tall from the foot to the top here three and a half inches tall 
And then from at its longest, from point to point here, you were coming in at seven and one fourth. All right, seven and one fourth, but a great Greek revival look to it. Vintage, not antique. We got, is Miss Joan is at 15? I'm pretty, nope. Miss Melinda, Melinda girl, are you? Yeah, Miss Melinda is in it at 17. Ladies, thank you so much. Corn pads included. Let's do the countdown. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ooh, a bit end. See, again, it goes great with the Lennox. It's not as creamy as the Lennox, but it is a great contrast to those Lennox pieces. I really like that. Okay, boom. There's our band aid bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Thibi. I appreciate you, lady. Uh, the fluffy insoles. I mean, you know, use what you got. Use what you got. Reduce, reuse, recycled. Hopefully these weren't reused, though. All right. Melinda, girl, you almost had it. Miss Stephanie Sharkey came in with that just in case of 20 So at $18, Stephanie Sharkey, lady, congratulations and thank you. It is coming to you. Get it. All right. And I will get you written down. Wasn't that fun? What is that 18? Okay, last two items. We're going to close out the sale. These are, we're going to do two claims. Each of the claims is going to be $15. And in each of them, you're getting a three-piece set. This is the interesting thing. While you're getting three pieces, all three of the pieces are identical, okay? Okay. So these, ugh. we're going to see if anybody's interested in them in this way. These have been hanging out here for far too long, so we're just going to go for it. Uh, it is a three-piece lot. Each of the pieces is the same thing, okay? Remember when you used to go to the grocery store and the grocery store had like that toy aisle in it? Yeah, we've got three of those for you. Not only were you in the grocery store, you kind of want to do your own grocery shopping. Um, you're going to get all three of the Play Like Mom on their original blister cards, okay? They are on their blister cards. These are, in fact, made in... Where are they? Yeah. Okay. So they are made in Hong Kong. Is it focusing? I can't tell. It says made in Hong Kong right here. It's a plain back. Look, these have never even made it onto the rack. Okay. So the punch card is still intact. As I said, it's all identical. So you're getting one, you're getting two, you're getting a three. They're all the same now, but you're going to get all three of them. Okay. Let's get started with this stuff today. Get them off of the computers. Get them off of the phones. If you have your own kids, your own grandkids, I'm telling you, there. I said this yesterday, there is a big movement of like modern parents using vintage toys to get their kids more engaged and off of the technology and off of the phone. Um, but tell me you don't. these don't evoke memories. With your cash register, the imagination, do you remember the ones that come with the little... Uh, if they even came with the uh, little brown paper bags. These are so good. All three. You get all three. They are all the same. Okay. Build your own grocery store. It's 15 bucks, but you do get all three. $15, if anybody is interested, is all you have to do is put in number 74. Number 74. And you're going to get them all. Look at the vanilla wafers, but do you see what it, it doesn't say Nabisco? It says Natasco. Cake flour. You've got your orange, your bananas, your Campbell's, your super giant, your hunts, your V8. Get it, Bobby. Get it. At sep, that's not 74. You're going to get all three of them for $15. Get it. Are you going to let the grandkids play with them? 
Are you, are you going to play with them? Are you going to play with them with your grandkids? Even better. Get it, Bobby. Thank you so much. Bobby, do you even have grandkids? I'm just like making an assumption. She was like, no, I'm a mother. What are you talking about? I'm not even a mother. <laughs> you have a 19 year old grandson. Get it, Bobby. Well, I mean, maybe you'd be like, come play grocery store with grandma. He might do it. I would listen. If I was 19 and my grandmother wanted to play grocery store, we wouldn't play grocery store. Believe that. All right, last item it is, it's just like our food, but this is gonna be ceramic. <laughs> Y'all, I cannot remember where I got these from. <laughs> I don't, I do not remember where I got these from, and that's really unusual for me. Um, but you're gonna get all three. All three of them are the same. Okay, and um, this one is going to be $15. You get all three. They're all the same. You're going to get, these are ceramic. Saturn, your grandson is 36. So you get one stag head. It does have, the, you can do it as an, as an ornament. If you want, you can snip that off. Do keep in mind there's a little, a metal ring in there you could snip that with a, a quick little wire snip if you wanted okay there are no chips or cracks repairs breaks these are contemporary i'm pretty sure i'm like 99.9 percent .9 sure they are contemporary you're going to get number two it's identical guess what you're going to get number three it is identical so that color you could use them year round if you wanted to right but you do get all three it's $15 for the three deer heads, okay? All identical, Ooh, 15 bucks. You get all three, you just put in number 70 and all three of them will come to you for 15. Number 70. Oop, Miss Becca Moore, fast fingers. Get it, thank you, Ruthie, appreciate you. Miss Becca is getting all three. Get it, lady. Okay. Well, there we go. Let me set these to the side. Ugh. All right, y'all. Well, what a great sale. I really do uh, appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Um, certainly appreciated. Uh, you know, for the purchases made today, obviously, it's a full time job. It's incredibly important to me, and I certainly uh, appreciate that. To those of you that were here, and I got to be your lunch buddy, I got to be your work buddy. That is a tremendous honor, and I hope that you had a good time and you got a few laughs today. For those of you that were here to engage and chat with one another, I hope you got to see who you wanted to see. Say hello to everybody you were looking forward to seeing in the chat. Um, that is a great privilege and an honor to be able to, in any way, provide that space. Speaking of which, I do want to remind you before we go, if you would like to stay in contact with one another, make sure to check out virtualantiquemarketplace.com. It is lovingly, of course, referred to as VAMP. The reason that you want to do that is because we have a wide variety of chat rooms over there that exist 24-7. They are not contingent or reliant on a live sale, and it is a way in which to keep in contact with one another. You know, many of you have exchanged not only emails, but phone numbers, and you do keep in contact with one another. And I think that is a phenomenal thing. Uh, another joy with those chat rooms is a lot of them are very picture focused. So you can check out other people's uh, displays. There's Kim's got early wedding photos on there. There's prom photos on there. So I do encourage you to go over, check out um, the chat rooms. You don't have to pay to be a member. You don't have to pay uh, to engage in those chat rooms. There is 188 sellers over there. We have over 2000 items that are listed that are specifically curated vintage and antique items. So you can shop and browse if you would like, but don't forget that the chat rooms they are over there and they do exist for the community at large. So check it out and it's free to do that, okay? 
Um, I want to, of course, give a huge shout out. You can't, you can't, that's the, what is it? Um, I want to give a huge shout out, of course, to Miss Ruthie B for being here, being the bid ender, for being such a tremendous help and a support to the sale. Lady, I really, truly do appreciate you. I know Miss Kim left, but in spirit, let's show some appreciation to Miss Kim. And of course, um, Ruthie saying, hi, Mama Wanda. Um, and of course, to Miss Karen Gillette. Ladies, thank you both. Um, for being moderators. I greatly appreciate it. As I said at the beginning, said this time, I'm going to keep saying it individually, y'all rock. Um, and then like collectively, the three musketeers, y'all are a tremendous support. And I really do appreciate you. Um, again, thank you everybody out there. Invoicing, don't forget, is going to be going out this evening. Do look for those invoices. I do want to let you know that if you are expecting an invoice from me and you don't hear from me within 24 hours, please don't be shy and send out an email because I might have missed, messed up, um, could have typed in your email wrong. I might've confused you with somebody else. Never be afraid to reach out and be like, hey, what's going on? Is everything okay? Um, so please just know I'm open to doing that. Lord knows I make plenty of mistakes. So you guys, thank you so much. And um, uh, what do I got coming up? Tuesday? I will be back with Misty on Thrifted Junker Vintage Hunter at 1 p.m. Eastern. And of course, I'll be back here on the Cult of Vintage next Wednesday at 1 p.m. And um, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and let you know that next Wednesday, boys and girls, we're going back to a choice sale. I have got some good stuff stored up for you for choice. Um, well, everything's kind of stacked up on top of one another, so I don't know. Some names that will be coming in will be Fenton. We will have Lefton. We are going to have some Goebel. Barbie might even make an appearance. Bristol Glass will be there and be present. We will have Clemson Pottery. Stop. We're going to have Vintage Plush, maybe even a Vintage Book. Those are things that are going to be coming up at next Wednesday's choice sale. So look for those preview images here on YouTube and, of course, on Instagram. And until we see you next week, you guys, please be safe, be happy, um, have fun out there, and uh, we will see you all next week. Bye, guys.